Well, today is Thursday, the 9th of September, and today we are going to head to Lingmore Fell, park it out of water, and then just do that that, that small fell. Um, it's a, a light day today um, because it's a special day. We are going to see our granddaughter today. That's if the boat <laughs> sails properly. So, See you at the car park. We're now in the village of Elterwater and we're just about to start the walk. So we're going to walk up the bridge, go over the bridge, and then we'd keep left, but I'll, we'll pick it up on the map as we go. So just looking up the village, but we're not going that way. We're going this way, aren't we, Andrew? Keeping left. Over the bridge and keeping left. Uh, we're taking the right fork and we're heading up the hill. It says the challenging option. That's for bikes. Only for bikes, Sandra. <laughs> yes. We'll see. Just keep moving forward up this this hill and the path becomes then rough. There's the sign at Langdale. One mile. Unsuitable for motors. But it's very suitable for Andrea. Andrea quite liked the the walls there with the, the moss. We actually have a little bit of rain now, which is unfortunate, but it'd be nice if we got rid of the rain in this section and then it dried up. with signposts. Straight on is Little Langdale Tarn and there seems to be a path heading up to the right here which I think... Oh, here comes a squirrel coming down it. That's a grey squirrel. See it Andrew? Yeah. In the grass. He's just come... Up, up he goes! Remember that gate. <laughs> we've come back to it. Because we couldn't find a path. There was no path. We'd have been going up through Bracken which we tried to do. So we're going back on ourselves slightly and going up this path, which is marked on the maps. Okay, we've got to this point. We've come down that hill and we're now going to go left. And we've got Chapel Style somewhere on our right. And we're heading on a good path through the forest. Um, anyway, it's been an adventure. <laughs> of Ted Hastings. We're sucking diesel now. We're definitely on the right path, going in the right direction. Even Andrea's a bit happier. I'm always happy. Are you? It's important to just stop, take stock of where you are, where you want to go, and don't be afraid if you've taken the wrong turning to stop and uh, turn back and get onto the right path rather than pursuing onwards and going completely off altogether. That's my words of wisdom. Yeah, Save very, time in the long run. It's very good, Andrew, I must say. And that's why I go walking with you. <laughs> <laughs> There's the quarry. That's making all the noise. But look at the backdrop. Chapel style, and then that's down into the Langdale Valley. Gorgeous. Look at all these old slates stacked up here. Gosh. Really nice. Worth seeing. Okay, you swing around to the right now. Past this tree. Just seen a couple of pheasants or a family of pheasants there. Didn't get them on the camera, but might get them up here. There we have a sign. Tell us where to go. Andrew's gone up the hill following the sign. 
I'm just watching the pheasants flying. <laughs> Every time I put the camera on, they seem to stop. If you can hear them chirping away here, chirpy, chirpy, chirp, chirp, chirp. Oh, here comes one. Got him. Good luck. I feel like with the beaters. As they're, they're hearing us and then they're, they're flying, flying off. I hope we missed that. There must be about 20 of them flapped up there. They need to give me notice. So the females are higher than the males. Males are lazy, isn't that it? Males are just lazy. We're getting greater views as we go. Can't go any further. Those two sheep are barbed blocking the way. Hello. They're looking for the password. Hello. Feed me. That's a, that's a mother and a lamb, isn't it? Okay, so we've climbed that gate and now we're climbing upwards and then turn right and we'll take our bearings from there. Ooh, and there's a lot of bracken up here, ferns, which we don't like because they seem to block the paths, but Andrea's she's got a nose for the paths now. <laughs> We're just admiring the wall here. It's so well made. Somebody has taken a lot of time to make that. It's a work of art, isn't it? Yeah. Absolute class. Okay, we're moving forward. Still, still another 10 or 15 minutes to go, I think. I haven't told Andrea that though. <laughs> she goes leading the way. And there at last is the, the summit. It's spectacular up here, absolutely spectacular. There's another couple coming towards us at the moment. Uh, so we'll be there in about 15 minutes at the top. Yeah. There she goes. This is the final ascent. There she goes. Andrew's leading the way, always first. Yeah, it's an absolute doddle now, isn't it? I think it will. It'll be worth it when we get up here, Andre. I think it will. One last style to get over, Andre. Yep. One last obstacle. And then we're there. Well done, Andre. Well done. Well done. Well done. descent and Andrea's leading the way. Let's go. We've had a wee bit of rain there but we didn't go for the coats it's actually still drizzling a little bit but you can see in front of us now Elter Water, Windermere, I think that's Loughrig just in the foreground as well and uh, this is just a lovely descent. We're actually descending quite quickly. We're going back the same route roughly with uh, cutting out the detours. Oh. She's taking a shortcut. <gasps> oh, Andrea. Taking the grass path. Grass path. 
And there's our sign for Elta Water. On she goes. And there's the quarry. So a little bit of investigating. Just looked at peeling. Oh, there is a cave. That's quite cool. A new part of the forest for us. I'd like to point out at the stage that Andrea is now guiding, taking the lead. <laughs> I think I've been taking the lead all day. <laughs> Andrea has me on a road now, the great navigator. <laughs> lovely moss. And we are back. Back, back, back. Another great walk in the Lake District. Thanks for watching. <laughs> You've been walking with Andrea and Ashley. So, here's the Strava data in the rain. It took us four hours, just over four hours, and it was 9.49 kilometers. Great walk, a few details at the beginning, but once we got the hang of it, we really enjoyed it. It's a great walk. So Andrea, I want some honest feedback on today's walk. Honest feedback. Honest feedback. Yeah. Um, it was very good. There was a few false summits <laughs> where you thought you were there. You went around the corner and there was another summit. So we got there in the end. It was very good. Great views. You could see across, you know, you had a 360 vista, so you had, it was brilliant. You could see Pavey Arc and all those places that we've already climbed. Lovely. It was really nice. And we saw some wildlife? Yeah, we did. We actually saw a lot of, I don't know how many, uh, I was going to say pigeons, not pigeons, but pheasants, pheasants and there were Beautiful, and they were flying out of the um, over the overgrowth of um, ferns. Yeah. Beautiful.